Welcome back to the Outdoor Vigilantes. This week we're going to be in the turkey woods with my dad. Well here it is opening day 2015 spring turkey season. My dad and I are going to a spot we've hunted for years and years. We both killed turkeys down there several years in a row and I've had a chance to film him on quite a few hunts down there. Well, we get all set up next to these trees down here in the woods and we knew the turkeys were roosting down in this area and uh, we hear one gobble and he's right there on top of us. This old turkey just gobbling and gobbling and gobbling and I start to go over and get a little footage of my dad sitting there next to the tree and I thought uh oh I spotted him sitting on the limb so I kind of eased the camera back over and I zoom in on him and I found him there sitting on the limb so we got a little footage of this turkey sitting on the limb it's always good when you can get in this close on these birds Well, there's nothing like knowing the turkeys and knowing where they roost and, and being able to hunt a piece of property to where you can get in close like you do on these birds. Old Terry and Lynn, uh, you can't get much closer than that without flushing one. We're sitting there waiting for these turkeys to fly down and I kind of look around, I don't see any other birds there. We don't hear any hens. So we're thinking we're gonna have a pretty good chance being in this close to these birds. Once they hit the ground, they should come running. I'll tell you one thing, it's a good thing old Terry had the camera, not the shotgun, because when that thing was dancing on that limb, I think he might have been trying to get the old barrel up on him. Well, as you can see, this old gobbler flies down, he hits the ground, and uh, there's a little break in the hill right there, so he drops down just where we can't see him. And then I see another one come in from the side and hit the ground down there next to him. So all we got to do is wait. Now my dad gives a few soft calls to get this turkey wound up a little bit and before you know it, here he comes. Drop it. 
this old gobbler, he's working his way in and uh, getting closer to us. And he's just strutting around, gobbling, doing what you want these big birds to do, coming our direction. Well, pretty soon he gets up here and shows himself, and uh, this is where it gets real interesting. Did you see the way that gobbler was gobbling? I think that thing might have a little bit of tame turkey in it. To get where you want to be in life, as a man, as a dad, as a hunter, you will carry some heavy loads, and through them we realize that virtues like strength and reliability matter most, from ourselves and our gear. Ultimately what matters is not the weight of the load, but how we carry it. Alps Outdoors. I started this mineral lick about a year and a half ago with just OV mineral and just starting this out in the middle of a pasture where I know 
big bucks frequent the does cross here. It's a natural crossing. They come out here, they're not scared. Uh, it's kind of a safe area for them. They've got CRP all around them. And as you can see with this mineral site, how much this has helped the deer, but not only helped me locate where the deer are coming from, where they're going to, and that's only going to equal success in the future. Absolutely. Now this is an amazing mineral site. It's, it's dug out three foot by six foot deep. And you know, I'm looking at this thinking, how do I get one like that? You know, so if any of you guys want to know how to do this, how did you start this? Well, well I got with our, uh, our host, Cody Lucas. He created this mineral with uh, not just killing in mind, but actually the health of the herd. He wanted something that was going to help all aspects of hunting. So he gave me this. He said, try this out. This is my own mixture. It's in the testing phase. So, yeah, you know what? Yeah. I'll, gi I'll give it a try. And here we are a year later. This is going to be our third or fourth application in this hole. And a year and a half later, we have this big of a hole. We have numerous pictures of big bucks, does, fawns. Every deer in the area is coming to this lake. And this is an exciting time of the year because this is when we really get to see these bucks. They love coming to these licks, especially early. You know, before September, they'll just come in there and nail it, especially with their, their antlers growing. And you'll see them in velvet and get all these velvet picks, these awesome bucks. And it's important to have this out all year round as well. Well, he gets in where we think he's close enough, and I give old dad the go-ahead. Put this turkey on the ground. Well, old dad puts a good shot on this bird as usual. I tell you what, all the times we've been down here together, that's, a, that's the best quality time anybody could ever have with their dad, going out to the woods. I'm glad he's always taken me out to the woods since I was knee high to a grasshopper. And this is kind of our time together. Anytime we get out in the woods together, whether it's turkey hunting, mushroom hunting, deer hunting, it doesn't matter. Just being out there with dad, that's, that's some special time for us. Yep. Making some film for these boys here so we can, they can maybe get it on TV even a little bit. The outdoor vigilantes have struck early this morning and all I've got to say <coughs> is it is about dang time. These same two gobblers, I'm pretty sure it's the same two gobblers we chased around last weekend with my boy Brett during the youth turkey season and they would go everywhere but where we was at. We could see them, just couldn't get close enough to them. And they just wanted to, I don't know, you call to them, they'd walk around you. Yep. I guess. <laughs> didn't I, this morning, though. Yep, they they didn't make it this morning. The old Mossberg bark, comp and choke, laid him down hard. His old, his old head can't take any more lead than what it's got in it, I don't think. I'll tell you. 
and he was he was a little farther than what we thought actually i think he's about 35 40 yards and too far really we, we, <laughs> we probably would have waited for him to get closer but we haven't had a good video session in a while me and old dad here yep well we got one now pretty morning off pretty windy but outside of that it's pretty we're going to go try to see if we can round up another in here just in a little bit they're, they're not gobbling very good this morning for some reason but this in here was he was tearing it up yeah we got got down here early this morning for daylight and uh just stood around waiting to hear one gobble and hey we were right here on top of him pretty much we didn't we didn't, didn't walk it. another 20 30 yards to where we set up and directly it started getting light and i i spotted him on the limb down there yeah so we got to we got to watch him fly down and then that other gobbler he was he was shut mouth this morning didn't want to gobble so thought it might have been a hen yeah even. we we thought it was a hen that flew down and directly seen his beard when he come walking up the hill i seen him first yeah so but i was waiting for the old white head here Vigilante struck. Now we'll go see if we can get me one. Pick some mushrooms. We're going to take a picture and send it to Cody and see how good they did this morning. Hopefully him <laughs> and Butch. Hopefully him and Butch put the herd on one. That's right. Stick with us, folks. Out here in the woods doing a little grocery shopping this morning got our turkey down while we're listening for another turkey to gobble so I can go kill one we're picking a few mushrooms and no Cody I am NOT gonna share with you either looky there buddy <laughs> that's what's great about being in the turkey woods in the spring get your old gobbler in one hand and some morels in the other Final step cover scent. The only one on the market that I know of that's 100% all natural. Here in Missouri, we like the cedar scent. They got several scents to pick from. If you like to hunt, trap, you name it, this is the stuff to have. When we run trap lines, we spray everything down with this. It smells just like cedar. It's unbelievable. 100% natural. When we go to the tree stand, we spray it on. We spray it on when we get in the tree. It's like we were never there. We get ground blinds. We spray it on the blinds before we go in. It's like we were never there. This stuff is absolutely amazing. Final step cover scent. 100% all natural. If you want to bring home bone like this, you better make final step your last step in your scent elimination system. Well, now we're out in the turkey woods. I've got my wife, Rachel, and my two daughters, Haley and Lindsay. They're little bitty guys. They love to hunt. They hadn't had much luck during the youth season, so I've got them out with me. It's the last day of turkey season, and I took them to a spot where I've had these jakes, big groups of jakes coming in, and I knew they weren't going to be picky, especially with it being the last day. So I take them down there, and right off the bat, we've got turkeys a goblin all around us.
Now keep in mind, I'm in here running the camera in the blind with my wife Rachel and my two daughters. That's four of us. Here comes four Jakes. Now I have no intentions of shooting one of these Jakes. But now these girls, that's another story. Now these jakes come boogieing in here, and I tell you what, I never seen so many barrels sticking out the, this ground blind. It looked like a battleship. <laughs> When I give them the green light, will you see what happens? Let's see, are you ready? Ready? One, two. One, two, three, do you want me now? Look at that. Now, I had no intentions of shooting one of these jakes, but you know, how often do you get a double or a triple, especially a quadruple? Well, today, all three of my girls, my two daughters and my wife, smack jakes, and this one just wants to stand around there and putt and test me, and since it's the last day, I said, hand me the old shotgun. <laughs> Now wouldn't you know it, just my luck, four jakes are shot and mine winds up in the pond. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Dad? Yeah. 
Now, I tried to get one of my girls to go out in that pond and get that turkey, but they wasn't having no part of that. They thought it was funny watching Dad go get that turkey. 41 years old, I've been hunting turkey since I was eight. And uh, I ain't never had one go in the water. Some deer, but not turkeys. You girls think it's funny, don't you? Yeah, I'm not going out there. This is not way out in the middle. <laughs> I look like I got a drowned rat. <laughs> what a morning. How often do you get to go out and take four birds all at once? Unbelievable. You know, I got to spend some valuable time with my wife and my little girls out here in the woods. We all got turkeys, and we got a story that we're going to be able to tell for a lifetime. Well, folks, you've seen it. We put them on them outdoor vigilante style. I've been hunting down here, and been seeing nothing but jakes. I mean, I had like 10 jakes on me, so I saved them for the girls, my wife and my two little girls. My wife didn't get a chance to go very often, and the girls, they just like to shoot. So I brought them down here, and well, we didn't see 10, but we saw four, as you saw. And I mean, these girls made short work of them. Well, we hope you liked our turkey hunts this week. You know, if you get a chance to take your wife and kids out hunting, take advantage of it. These are memories that they're never gonna forget. If you like what you saw this week, check us out again here next week. Or in the meantime, go check us out on Facebook. Thanks for tuning in.